So I'm joined by the amazing Claire Marsh from Tinkerwolf today. Thank you so much for joining me, Claire. Uh, You're welcome. So Tinkerwolf, tell us all about it. What does it, what does it do? Well, Tinkerwolf is a business primarily focused on jewellery at the moment, but we're going to expand out from that. Um, and it's really a business for people who are obsessed with dogs and love dogs and their life revolves around dogs. And probably they might even work with dogs. So it's really about real dog lovers. Um, yeah, I make, I would say the majority of what I, I mostly sell um, cuffs and wrap bracelets so i sell a lot of bracelets those are my most popular items but i also do necklaces and key rings as well mm. and you hand stamp them don't you you actually <laughs> you're in your workshop no, no, like, that is, everyone always says to me can you engrave and it's it's not engraved i wish it was it'd be easier um no it's hand stamping so each letter is put on by me by hand yeah because is that how long how long's tinker wolf been going for about about four years, I think. Yeah, four years. About four years. I started it off as a hobby, just like as a little craft business, and it's kind of just evolved from there. Fantastic. And so you come to the end now of the twelve week business alchemy program, and um, tell me a little bit about what led you to actually pick, you know, to, to making that booking and booking a call with me to talk about your business. I mean, what was going on for you to that point? Well, I'd. Like I say, it started off as a, it was very much a craft business. I sold mostly to friends on Facebook and I just, you know, took the work when it came, but I wasn't kind of hungry for it because it was just a hobby. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to expand and grow it. So I started putting more effort into doing that organically, basically through Facebook, probably back more in the days when it was easier to do, do it without advertising. Mm. Um, I realized about 12 months ago that I was going to have to bite the bullet and do a website, having thought about it <laughs> on and off for about two years. Um, so yeah, so I built my website that helped in terms of volume, made my life easier. And I, I just felt like I'd grown it organically as much as I could. I knew that I needed to start using Facebook advertising. All the training that I'd had on that to date was very much kind of drop shipping, volume, like really high volume, don't touch any of the product yourself training. And it just felt a bit, although the mechanics were really helpful and um, are still really helpful, it just felt a bit soulless and not, I just, it just didn't connect with what I do in my business at all because my business is all about love and that. Mm is just too far too far removed from that so i knew i was stuck and i didn't know what to do next i also knew as i expanded the business out into other areas that it all needed to fit together properly and i didn't know how to package all that up and take it to market so it would work without destroying what i'd built to date mm. and then yeah i saw one of your videos um and it just, some, I can't even remember what it was now, <laughs> which is not very helpful to you, but no. something it resonated with me yeah. um, out of all the many things, you know, all the many people who do similar, you know, similar things mm. to what you do. Um, and yeah, that's, and I booked a call and I was, yeah, was hooked from there. Mm. Yeah. And you made, what, what I, what I loved about our <laughs> call, was that you were so decisive. You were just like, Fear the fear, feel the fear, and do it anyway. <laughs> Which is just so refreshing to actually have somebody go, Yes, this is what I want to do. I'm feeling a little anxious about this, but I know it's the right thing to do, so let's just do it. And I was like, Okay, okay. <laughs> just... Yeah, I knew, I knew within about um, a quarter of the way into the call, I knew, I knew that. I'm going to say within reason, because if you'd said to me it's a million pounds, clearly yes. <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. But I'd kind of made up my mind that whatever you told me the price was, was sort of irrelevant at this stage, because I knew from talking to you that you could help me. I knew I needed that help. Mm -hmm. um, and all the coaching I've done through the, coach, the other coaching program that I do, you know, it's impressed upon you the importance of making a decision. And when you know you need help, <laughs> you can see that help in front of you. Yeah. 
the decisions made you don't have to think about anything else yeah. so yeah you know the first part of the program is always the clarity which some people struggle over and then the next bit is um is really is the persona work it's the persona marketing method which is really the bedrock of everything that we do within the 12 weeks and it's the foundation uh, stones of of all your marketing and really building your business and knowing knowing you're on the right track and getting your messaging correct and everything like that now i know we did the um the customer personas which was kind of insightful to you and then we did the brand persona uh, workshop the life workshop oh, i had to go to bed <laughs> you've got to go to bed this is a common thing running through now I just need people hanging with that <laughs> people are watching the testimonial videos and they're going oh, what did you do to her <laughs> oh my goodness yeah you know there, there was other clients saying that they had to go and have a nap afterwards and it sort of uh, yes it is very uh, we do deep dive stuff, don't we? I mean, the donor exercises, we are missing when we say that we really get you to the heart of not only your brand and business personality, but really dig deep on the, the, your customer psyches and really from an energetic level where your customers are coming from. So you really truly resonate with them in all your marketing and everything that you're doing, including uh, your product ranges and how you're positioning of them and everything. So just share with me what your personal experience of the persona workshops are like, because there is nothing on this planet like what we do. The brand persona <laughs> workshop was just a whole other level. Um, and throughout the workshop, there were things that were coming out of my mouth that I didn't even know were in my head or in my heart. Um, so that was uh, an interesting experience but the thing that um resulted in me ending up having to have a lie down <laughs> after the whole experience <laughs> was when we defined the um not individual but the entity that represented my brand persona um i then went off to, to do a little bit kind of google research to try and flesh out some more of the detail because i didn't feel like i'd quite got enough of it and discovered that she is symbolized by something that I had tattooed on me um, well over 12 months ago and not a small tattoo either a huge one um, and not um, and not a tattoo that I'd had in relation to the business or in relation to my dogs or anything like that it was purely a tattoo for me mm. and so yeah the fact that that had already connected with me way before you surfaced it um, yeah was just amazing yeah it, it it's mind-blowing isn't it it's it's mind-blowing and it's you, you, i mean it, it's great from my point of view it's, it's it's quite great great to watch because i think at the time something came out of your mouth and you literally went <laughs> where did that come from because <laughs> we connect, we're connecting you at such an energetic level to your brand personality that and we and the reason we do that the reason we do that is because you know brands are more than just a logo businesses are more than just an infrastructure they're, they're living almost living breathing entities in their own right they grow and evolve and change and adapt and and from that point of view connecting someone to uh, at a very deep level the personality behind their business and brand not only aligns everything beautifully i mean once we get that pe that big piece in place all the little kind of pieces kind of just go into alignment and you know it was just so beautiful that you <laughs> and so amazing you came back and went good grief you know my, my my business personality is this entity as we discussed but did you know that this is the symbol that represents it and look <laughs> <laughs> and it was like whoa <laughs> <laughs> so that was really really fascinating and, and yeah it was it was wonderful so from from that I mean what happened after that then Claire for you Did, what 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 played out after the brand persona workshops what what happened well I felt like I just wasn't on my, I felt like I wasn't on my own anymore <laughs> because I'd got this kick-ass brand persona stood alongside me yeah yeah so that was pretty cool and continues to be pretty cool yeah. And then um, from there, we went on to look at my website, which wasn't awful. No, it wasn't. No. But 
it just needed now we had the brand persona I just needed bringing into line with that and the work that Kath did with me was yeah. I have to say before it started I was a little bit skeptical <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> about how someone would be, who although you'd both spent some time with me it still was only you know a short amount of time mm -hmm. and I was very skeptical that someone else would be able to come up with something that I would like but I mean she was just just amazing and the fact that she talks you through all of the you know the process from where you are to where she takes you to so yeah. you can see all her thought process without having to go through it yourself mm -hmm. and yeah the end result I couldn't be happier with in terms of the way you know the design that she suggested for my website I just think it looks amazing now compared to what it did yeah yeah it's again that's the beauty of personas and Kath who's the branding specialist within the, within the program uh, you know Kath is a former client and Kath has gone through the persona exercises with her own business and understands the revelations and the oh my god of, of actually knowing your brand personality really really well and so that's why she's such an asset within the program because she's able then to work with you and understand as a business owner wow okay we need to actually make this real now and yeah I mean so so that's really lovely to, to hear thank you we, we've got obviously so you've got your brand persona you've known your customer base already because we know that they were very established already uh, for you and um, talk about some of the other things that kind of happened I mean uh, let, let's talk about um, let's talk about the video Claire let's talk about the video shall we because we've got the you've got a lot of the pieces of the puzzle already and very often people who come into the program it is a case of just taking those pieces and looking at the gaps and filling those gaps and sort of joining all together that's what our program does it's all about alignment so one of the the, the pieces missing was the fact that you we wanted you to be more 3d if that makes sense the the, the fact that you had your products but your your marketing we wanted video and we wanted to make that kind of i think we also needed to because up until so earlier in the year i did all my selling online through facebook and people would do, like and through invoicing and people were talking to me mm -hmm. we had to find a way as well to get me more onto the website because that contact that they would have had otherwise yeah. was going to go away because I just couldn't sustain as, as much as I like it yeah. <laughs> and as fun as it is I can't because I can't grow the business if I'm you know doing it that way and having that much in individual interaction with people so it was, a, yeah. it was also a way I felt of kind of bridging that gap mm -hmm. so so tell me what what happened then what did we do well I, you said to me I think it's one of our one of our first calls you were talking about um needing to do a video and explaining to me kind of a little bit about what it should or what it did or didn't need to entail mm -hmm. and the idea that i subsequently did the kind of the overarching idea popped into my head almost straight away i think i can remember emailing you going i know exactly what i need to do <laughs> yeah yes um my wonderful customers in my group helped me so rather than have to use stock images or do stage shots which frankly would never have been as good as what my customers came up with I went to them and asked them if they wanted their dogs on my website and they came through <laughs> with photographs in their hundreds mm. I wish I could use them all so yes yeah, so they helped me and that was really nice as well because then you know it just connects them in more to the business mm. Because obviously they, by donating their photos, they wanted to see their dogs on my site. And I'm still mm. using, I'm still going through those photos now and using them in little short videos and adding mm. them to product pages and stuff. So that's fab. The words to the video I wrote and I knew that was going to be easy. <laughs> that's actually mm. not big headed. I, I just, I know that that's what I'm good at. So the, the fact that I stamp on jewellery, mm almost incidental to what I do I help people express the love they have for their dogs so I knew Absolutely. that it was going to be out about that and because mm. I spend you know most of my design time is more about what are the words going to be than where are the words going to go I knew it would be reasonably easy for me to write something from the heart mm -hmm. say what I wanted it to say 
so yeah so I wrote the words put it all together myself and then <laughs> we had to find a blip <laughs> Then we decided to pop a voiceover on it and started off get, try, get in, working with a professional, but just that did not yield the results that I, that I were looking, was looking for. No. Um, and you were even less impressed than I was. I was like, this ain't going to cut it. This ain't going to cut it, Claire. We got to, yeah. And that's what I said, wasn't it? Uh, why aren't you doing this? Yeah, so then, so then I recorded the voiceover, which I would say of all the things that I did, yeah, of all the things that I did in those 12 weeks, that was the most, not the recording of it, obviously, <laughs> that was time consuming, but the actual knowing that my voice was going to be the voice on the video going out, that was the, the, the biggest kind of leap of faith that I had to take. Yeah. The rest of it, yeah, that was the, that was the one that was like, ooh, I don't really want to do this, but mm. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so then I did the voiceover. Of course, that makes my life much easier going forward because if I want to do similar videos, then it's just me recording it. And because I've done it once now, everything will just be quicker. Yeah, and I think that's it, isn't it? It's that, um, you know, our, our program is designed not only to sort of align your business, but also to empower uh, female entrepreneurs. And that, that word empowerment is banded around, isn't it, everywhere? But we truly mean that, that um, for every single person that we work with, there's going to be something that they, they, there's a resistance. And usually it's that resistance that if we can help you through that resistance, it makes you so much stronger moving forward and gives you more skills and confidence that you can go, yeah, sure, you know. And your second video that you did, you did two videos. <laughs> In fact, how many how many sales funnels have you built in this program? Five, wasn't it? We it was in five. Yeah, it? yeah. Five sales funnels. Okay, so we can talk about the sales funnels in a moment. But the the videos themselves, you your second one took you know compared to the first one, which was you know you were finding your well that seemed to take weeks. The first one, yeah, yeah. And then the second one was like within hours, wasn't it? Yeah, I started recording the, on the morning and. Yeah, it was up and on my page, probably three or four hours. I doubt it, it wasn't even three or four hours of solid work, but yeah. No. So I pretty much know now if I wanted to do something similar again, certainly mm. no more than a day before it would be. Mm. And although that's time consuming for me, and eventually it would be nice to get to the point where more of it can be done by someone else, mm -hmm. it's still at the moment faster than you know going out to a freelancer and all the briefing and then it's not what you want mm -hmm. then you go back and blah, blah, blah. so yeah yeah so, yeah i have a new skill <laughs> fantastic i didn't and anticipate then... having <laughs> <laughs> and then and then of course you built the um the, the sales funnels put those all in place as well because you didn't am i right in thinking you didn't have any did you have any sales funnels when you came into the program no no, I had a resistance to sales funnels when I came into the programme <laughs> because the only ones I'd ever seen were, like I described at the start, in the training that I'd seen, they were very much volume, cheap products, yeah. upsell, downsell, upsell, downsell, upsell, downsell, yeah. Yeah. to the point where I'm surprised the customers weren't cancelling, you know. Mm. Cancelling. Yeah, so absolutely. I, I saw them that way and therefore it wasn't something that I really wanted to do mm -hmm. but you told me I had to so I did <laughs> well we you know we again we believe that that you need once you've got all your marketing and alignment with your customers and your brand and then you've got your messaging in place you know how to sort of uh, you know tweak your copy and everything that's a lot stronger it's it's about then being able to funnel through your ideal customers so that they're not getting distracted so you can actually do sales funnels so you pick a particular product and you funnel your ideal target audience right the way through educational piece in the in the middle and then a, a kind of a call to action at the end and so many people out there know that they need sales funnels but and again they're put off by those the sales funnels that are all that kind of uh, yeah as you said that upsell downsell you know sell sell that very almost americanized uh, high pressure selling and i think the consumer has got real smart to this and so Within it's also it's also not my customers i know my customers and they Precise. don't buy like that they're Precise. not they're not the customers that i'm looking for because, so yeah. yeah and so and i would say actually the majority of businesses don't have customers that want that and so 
one of the most important things is to actually design a sales funnel for that sits well with your customer base and sits well with you but serves that purpose of being able to uh, do a promotion and and literally have it from start to finish so you have a, a very focused end result in mind so well done so you produce five of those <laughs> Mind blowing, mind blowing. So, you know, in the program, we do a lot of mindset work. We've got the marketing, we've got the design elements that come in. Um, good grief, we, we've got so many, it, it's the whole A to Z program, isn't it really? If there's, that we try not to miss anything out for you in terms of growing your, your, your business and getting it um, where you want it to go. So tell me about what, what are the benefits have you had from the program, Claire, within the 12 weeks? I, it caused me to do things that I've been going, oh, I'll do that at some point mm. for 12, 24 months. <laughs> you know, those things that you know are the things you need to do, but you don't get around to them. So just one really simple example is I've been meaning for, it must be at least two or three years. In fact, I think I inquired two or three years ago um, to get a little stamp made in the shape of my logo yeah well i did that like i just did it but it's been something that i just <laughs> have just not got round to but i think doing the whole <clears throat> doing the whole brand persona stuff and then rebranding you know bringing the website in line with the brand i then wanted the products to be more branded than they currently were and that was an obvious thing to do so yeah little things like that really kind of galvanizing me into action to um sorting those sorts of things out and just uplifting the packaging we talked about that early on in our products because i'd never really moved it on from when i was a craft business and it was appropriately packaged for what mm. it was yeah. when i started yeah um, if i'd started it as a craft business and packaged it how it is now it wouldn't have made it wouldn't really have made sense either back mm. then yeah I mean. um so yeah uplifting all of that um no to bring that into line with the brand. Would you say that the programme's been of value to you? Yeah, I said that to you, I think. <laughs> I think, did I not say I'd kind of felt like I got my money back after a, a couple of weeks? Yes, <laughs> so I, I think it was a bonus. Yeah, yeah. So, because we're in the game of kind of like changing lives and changing businesses, again, that's pretty twee, but actually that, it, that's what we kind of do, you know, we're, we're aligning people and sometimes it's, very dramatic in the changes and transformations we make other times there are subtle 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 changes subtle changes subtle changes that are made that will have a profound um change and difference for a business actually as they grow and transform and get bigger and i think in your case claire the small little tweaks that we've done on your business have aligned it now so that it's going to be a lot stronger moving forward so that you'll be able to scale it because i know that was one of your um the, the things we spoke about right in the beginning is you were saying you were, the ability to scale this business was that was my yeah my big objective like, as i said to you from the start it wasn't about how much could we uplift the sales in 12 weeks yeah. it was about getting the business and the whole platform ready so that i could grow it in the way that i wanted to grow it so it was really about digging the hole and putting the foundations down and now i can pop my house up on it that's really what it was for me more than anything so have you got what would you say to other people that perhaps were on on you know on, on the fence about sort of doing a program like this or transforming or changing their businesses okay so probably a couple of things because i've spoken to some friends who i think would benefit from doing the program and I get two, and I've, I've got several friends that I think will at some point, but I get two pushbacks. And the first one is, I'm not ready because the kids have got to go back to school or I need to do this or I need to finish this other course. Or, and I would say to anyone thinking that, no, <laughs> just do it now because there will always be something that is that thing that stops you. Yeah. Um, and the other one that I get is, people feel like they need to come to you with more of the solution in place, I think, almost like 
Mm. Yeah, like they need to know more about their own business before they can do the program. Mm. Um, and I've said to them, well, that's just insane thinking because the more effort you make now in trying to do that, you're potentially going off in the wrong direction or it's not all going to be aligned. Um, much easier to do it the other way around and go to Heather almost with not a blank slate, but with mm. less in place and build yeah. it properly and go forward from there than try to take more of a solution that doesn't make sense there's always going to be excuses for people and the committed are always going to step up and do that's the first thing so you know yeah i need to talk to my pet shrink or kind of i need to do this or i need to as you said the excuses are bound and that is a form of procrastination purely a, a form of procrastination in business and then the second thing about um yeah having to oh well when i've done my website and when i've got that you know and it's like no no don't do your website no, because don't do your website. <laughs> don't stop right now because you know you've seen firsthand Claire the people in the program who have got to a point where they've appointed web developers and web designers and have prior to coming into the program and then have almost been in tears going oh my god I've got to get on the phone right now to stop them because they've taken me in the completely wrong direction because I'd abdicated the responsibility of my business to other people rather than actually knowing it at a very deep profound level because when you know it like you know like you know like you know you can delegate out if you choose you can say to a web developer right these are my these are my brand colors this is the thing this is what I want it to look like these are my ideal customers no that image is wrong no that needs to be there you, you are the you are the orchestrator of your business rather than being almost a victim of it and as, yeah. seen, as you said for you we've seen it within the programming you've seen it firsthand the people in the program that have had that mentality of oh no I need to get my business to this point and then they come into the program and then it's far easier i've always said to kind of build a house the way you want it than it is to take an existing house and go all oh, right okay so we need to kind of knock that bit down and kind of like put that extension on there and it, you know any architects builder will tell you that it's it's the, the the cleaner the kind of the build the better the better you you'll have the house so and it's emotionally less challenging for you as well than if you feel you've <laughs> made all this progress and built something that works to then mm. find out that not because you tell the person but because you mm. know through the exercises that what you've done doesn't work and you need to fundamentally change it so yeah come with a come with a blanker slate don't try and mm. half build something and then bring it in to be looked at no no You've done tremendously well, Claire. I, you know, obviously, you, 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 you're remaining in our program, um, which, is, which is lovely in terms of, uh, you know, we have private Facebook groups and, and everything. You're, you're there to, uh, to see the newbies coming in and um, give them words of support. And from, from your point of view, um, from your point of view, it's just, a, it's just a joy to have watched you in this program. Are you going to say something else? Sorry, I kind of... Well, I was going to say, obviously, as well, if there are people that come in that, you know, and there's something that I've done that they can then leverage off, then, well, you know, all the better. Because, yeah. you know, there were some things like my funnel, for example, which was quite painful for a while, mm. that I now have the solution, which would save someone else, you know, two or three yeah. weeks of angst. Yeah, yeah. And that's the beauty of having a group programme where we can all kind of bounce ideas off each other in terms of entrepreneurs. So we're all like-minded, we're all growing our businesses, looking for new, you know, new growth in our businesses, whether that's new sales, you know, in customers or whether we're getting the infrastructures correct for, for scaling. Um, so from that point of view, it's just really lovely to have a community of women who are actually stepping up, literally stepping up with their businesses and up leveling. Um, it's, it's quite spectacular to see and I, I'm very blessed and honoured to have served you Claire so thank you so much thank you for your time on, on this on this video anyway but thank you so much for, for coming into the program and also for sharing today with everybody you know your journey and uh, what it's done for your business I wish you all the very best Claire thank you